What is the third trait of resilience? Taking feedback and dealing directly with conflict and being able to both listen to others and speak up for oneself. And how do those characteristics connect directly to resilience? It can be difficult to listen to others, but also have your voice heard, especially when it leads to a situation in conflict. I mean, nobody feels comfortable when there's a disagreement. But being resilient is being able to have your voice be heard while you're listening to others in a way that really gets the task accomplished instead of ending up in a disagreement. Mm -hmm. Laura, have you had to use that particular trait of resilience at work? Yes. Um, at my lifeguarding job, I remember there was one woman who came in for lap swimming that I had never met before. And um, at first, she was complaining because the people she was sharing her lap lane with were too slow. And it was interrupting her workout. So I'm like, OK. So I like made some adjustments, got people in different lanes. And then she was complaining again <laughs> because the people she was sharing her lane with were too fast. And they were passing her too much. And she felt unsafe. And um, I was kind of like, I just feel like you're just never happy. And um, she came back at me with like, well, I've been swimming at this pool since before you were born. Uh, I've never had this many problems. You are the only lifeguard that I have problems with. <laughs> I'm like, great, thanks. Um, so she left. And then when she came back a couple days later, um, the conversation turned into uh, well, last time I was here, you said this. And I'm like, I did not say that. Last time you were here, you said this. And she's like, that's not what I said. Um, and so at this point, I said, you know what? It just, it sounds to me like we are not listening to each other. And she said, yeah, we're not listening to each other. And it was amazing because after that conversation, I haven't had any problems with her. Um, we were able to really listen to what each other was saying and find solutions to problems that worked for both of us. It's really great you were able to stay in that conversation long enough to find a solution. Yeah, it would have been nice to leave, but uh, it's my job to and, deal with conflict, and you so did, I couldn't. And you did a great job. You did a great job. <laughs> what do you think would have happened uh, if you hadn't been able to find a solution? I think that it would have been a lot more exhausting if we hadn't taken the time to find a solution because you can't have somebody who's coming to the pool day after day and always have a conflict with them. Like that would be exhausting for me, it would be exhausting for her. Um, and so we needed to find a solution that worked for both of us because that sort of conflict isn't really sustainable and it's not really healthy for a work environment. Yeah, this is such a great example of using resilience to accomplish a task where both the, that person was heard, but your voice was important too. Mm -hmm. Great job. Thanks. Now break up into groups of three or four. Imagine that you're all on an events committee at your school and your group is in charge of hiring someone to give a speech at an awards banquet. The speech is supposed to be about the value of education. Who would you pick to give the speech? Let each member of the group take a turn explaining clearly why their speaker is the best choice. When you're not talking, listen carefully to your team members. Now, can you come up with a choice that everyone agrees on? <laughs> 